All right, let's go over what's left so we can wrap this one up and get into something else. Well, maybe not get into something else. I don't know what I'll do next. I might just work quietly for a little while. Give it a break. Um, so let's see. Uh, I have a ramp to deal with. I really need to deal with this ramp. This ramp's pretty bad. Good thing about this ramp is it's brand new. The bad thing about it is it's very poorly assembled. And, um, you know, I'll go over that in good detail when I do it. So I got that to do. I've got this wire form to do. I've got a freshly plated one that I can use in its place, but it needs to be completely reworked. I mean, new domes, new switches, new wiring harness, uh, all those kinds of things. And um, I think that's pretty much it for that. Got the chair to deal with. I'm gonna paint this chair today, hopefully. And then I've gotta rework everything about it. You know, new, new bracket, new lamp sockets, new harness. I got this plastic to deal with, which doesn't look like much, but it honestly is a little bit more involved. Obviously, I wanna get rid of this silly vault and put everything back like it should be. Uh, I don't want this red kind of uh, just plastic post. It's just like a ball trap thing. I, I'd rather have a clear one. And I'm gonna rewire this entirely and make the wires a little bit cleaner looking. I'm gonna use black wire. So what I'll do is like, if it's normally a red wire, then I'll use black with a red stripe. If it's an orange wire, I'll use black with an orange stripe. And then where it's a solid yellow, I'll just use a solid black. And what that'll do is just make it look a lot cleaner coming out of these sockets in the areas you can't hide or shrink to. So we'll do that, and we'll put it back like it used to be too with the, the proper bug plastic and standoffs in place of that bolt. Then we just got these two flipper lanes to do. That should be, should be easy enough. I gotta check these plastics. So a lot of times you get these plastics and the holes aren't big enough. And of course this plastic goes on the ramp and then when we build the ramp, we'll, we'll deal with all that stuff individually. So that's what I got going on. That's what I'm gonna try to finish up. And once I finish that up, I think I uh, just clean the trans light and um, uh, clean the topper and I should be good to go. Should be ready to see this thing. Oh, and I got to place the, the plaque on the front, you know, the, the number on the front. I do that last one, make sure I put that on just right. And that's, that's pretty much it. So we're heading for the finish line for sure, but it's still, I still got a couple days in it. And, uh, I'll, I'll put you on, on board and we will just work, see how things go. All right, let's mix up something. Doesn't have to be great. Just need to have a little bit of a, kind of like a copper look. I like that look usually when I do these. I'll just throw a little bit of charcoal gray in there. Throw some black in that. Some leftover paint here and there. Doesn't have to be anything great. It's just got to look pretty good. All right, let's throw some red in here. Start to turn it towards that brown side. Let's see here. Let's go down here and get some off the machine. Let's go with this orange instead. Orange in there. There we go. It's heading the right way. Let me throw some. Get some bright red out. This is how this goes, you know. Get some bright red out. Make some sticks. Wood type look for a minute, but it won't we'll stay like that for long. Okay. There we go. Just 
just trying to get a little bit more like I'm a mahogany type look, maybe is what I would say. Alright, I'm gonna wipe this thing down with some acetone. Probably soak it just a little bit with it. Wipe that off. And that pretty much makes it feel kind of like sticky. Alright, so it's ready for some base coat. I mean if, if I was if this was a front bumper to a car or something like that, I would probably um, you know treat it more. But it's a chair, it's a decoration. It's not it's not uh, gonna see any any impact. I am going to put a little bit of yellow in here just to kind of uh, uh, just to I don't know just do whatever you see me do when, when I put it in there. All right, yeah, like this, this is what I like. That's what I'm gonna put on here. see a little bit of the old color or whatever kind of through it. I like that. That gives it more of an authentic look. Yeah, it looks a little bit more real that way. All right, let's detail this. I'm not going to get crazy on that. I'm just going to hit a couple highlights with some silver accents and call it good. I doubt I can show this very well. I will try, but I seriously think I'm going to mess up my work if I try too hard to show it but Okay, I got my chair painted, detailed. I didn't go crazy with it. it. Just looks nice, right? It looks like a, it looks like it's really made out of wood. That's important. And then I just 
caught a couple of the little accents. I don't want to mix up a hundred different colors to do it. I just said, well, okay, if it looks like it should be metal, then I'll, I'll brush it silver. And if it looks like it should be like a strap or a buckle I'll, or, or something like that, I'll just paint it black, you know, just keep it simple. Most of the stuff's going to be covered anyway, but it's going to look good on there. It's going to look way better on there than, uh, this. I mean, this doesn't look very good. This is pretty plain. And this, like I said, this looks like a real piece of furniture. That's what I'm kind of going for. I don't need everything to be super authentic. I don't need everything. I like, I don't mind things that just give the impression of what they are, but then some things just look kind of foolish, right? I mean, this looks kind of foolish, but I understand. They just mold something and put it on there. It's a plastic toy. All right, we'll see what else we do, but, uh, I at least got that done and I'll let it dry for a little bit while I do some other things. Let's build and wire this chair, get it off of my workbench. So I got two original sockets. Those are the only ones that'll fit this bracket. I've tried all kinds of other sockets. Uh, it's just the way that that square hole is cut through there. It only fits an original socket. So that's no problem. I've got some new original, well not new, but some nice original sockets. Just need to kind of copy this wiring off of this old one. Let's see if I can get this out of here. This chair is a mess. This one's gonna be a tight fit. I'll probably have to heat it up with a heat gun before I push it on, but let me see what's going on here first. These look like they overhang just a little bit. I think I'm gonna take the grinder and just grind a little bit of that plastic material away so it fits a little bit better. mess on their hands here. I don't Okay, let's see. Fine. Put that to the side. Now let me see what we actually have here. We got Okay. There we are, we got that kind of pre-wired, you know, everything it needs to go up in there. And then I'm gonna try to pick up whatever I need to pick up, even for the mod downstream. I don't wanna, I don't wanna flood inside of here with like they do with all these damn diodes and all this shrink tube and all that. I'll, I'll cut some small pieces to put on the ends of these just so they won't touch anything. What we got here is the new bracket pass through and all this wiring that they're doing right here up top at the socket I'm gonna do downstream of here so what I can do now is heat up my um, chair that I painted and hopefully push it on right now even with the grind and in a couple of modifications it's still too tight all right I got my heat gun just kind of it's a low heat Heat gun, I got that blowing in my chair. I'm gonna let that heat it up so I can push it easily onto this bracket now that I've pre-wired everything. I don't know how much I showed up. I thought I was showing it good and then I looked and I had the camera on like close in. I was walking all over the room doing all kinds of shit. So who knows what we saw. Whatever it is, we'll piece it together. We'll make it look like something. Okay, that's pretty pliable right now. Now I just want to push it right on there. And just kind of get everything in place. Okay, and this is all I'm looking for is just to make sure these sockets are just 
dead on the money. And yeah, that looks great. Okay, so this is passing through a little bit of clear tubing. I've got this Uncle Fester to slide on here, which, you know, I'm a little bit on the fence about, but I think he looks pretty good. Push him right on down in there and make sure, and make sure his ass is sitting down. Sit your ass down, Fester. Do I have even a chance of sliding this wiring into the, my tubing? That's my next question. It's close. Uh, all right, so we got him in there. We got everything wired. We just need to add diodes to the red wires diodes to the red wires and the connector. We gotta figure out what they were doing here. They were tying the red with black stripe to the non-banded, you know what, I don't try, why am I looking at how, I don't know why I'm looking at how they did anything. Let me go get some instructions. Let me see if I got some. All right, there is our chair assembly built up. It looks really nice. Nice extended wiring, refinished chair. Everything is wired color correct, coming through the shrink tubing. None of these diodes crammed up in here and all these shorts waiting to happen. Everything's gonna be well protected. All the ugliness of this wiring is downstream within this bundle. And with this extended wiring, we're gonna have a much easier time fishing it down in the play field effectively and placing it like we want. It's gonna look a lot cleaner on there. When you look at this original one, I mean, it's terrible. They always are. They've got all these diodes just coming straight off the sockets and they're barely making it through there. This wiring is running right through these metal brackets in harm's way. If you look behind the scoop on the game, you'll see all this shit and it's like the harness is two inches long. You can barely get it down in there and make it connect to the thing you're pulling everything so tight and this looks like a you know something out of a mcdonald's happy meal and it's just you know it's just not as good and, and i'm serious it's really not and this is going to be a lot better so we'll go place it and i'll show you why it's a lot better besides the things i told you so when i walk up to this right now this is where this needs to go I need to fish this wire down right behind here. And when I do, got plenty of real estate to do it. And then when I place it, I'm not having to fight it at all. But when you look, you can see, look at that. See how protected and clean that is. It's not a bunch of frayed loose wires just jumping out everywhere. This pop bumper, when it comes up and down, it's not gonna bother it. If this target gets smashed backwards, it's not gonna bother it. It's not gonna rub on the bracket, it's good. So that is why I just spent four hours doing something that could have been done in four minutes. It's important. And so, you know, we'll put the screws in it in a minute and place it officially, but that's kind of what, what the deal is. That's why that's so much better and why it's worth spending that extra time on it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'm pretty much done for today. Maybe tomorrow I'll get into something else, but I'm gonna pull this back out. I'll probably put this on after I have the ramp on or something like that, but I just wanted to demonstrate uh, the benefits of it.